my brethren uh, good morning to us all blessing morning i would only want to share with you to you my brothers and sisters in press about uh, faithfulness i would want to share with you with what uh, what are the things that we are going to do for us to become faithful to god because this is one thing the secret and there are lots of pastors now suffering about financial. And I only want to share this with you. Maybe you forgot about this. But before we are going to proceed, we are going to pray first. Father God, teach us the way. Teach us to become fit to become faithful with you. Because if you are not, if you are not going to be faithful to you. Uh, you are going to course, but Lord God, we are not going to be cursed because we are your children. Teach us, Lord, what is the secret? What is one of the secret to become blessed? To become the blessings that you are going to pour us. We are children, oh God of glory. Open our hearts, open our minds. Hallelujah. And this we pray. Amen and amen. And I am going to read about this again. When I was teaching a Bible study in the province for the adults, my pastor uh, gave an assignment to me about this tithing. Tithes. Hallelujah. And this is one of the secret because I have I had this experience in we were just uh, with that group affiliation that was uh, year 1969 and we became born again not just a married group but we were born again with water baptism of water and the holy spirit so and after it uh, and after it we followed what God commanded us to do for us of course to enhance the abundance of God what is this God who is really he is who is really is oh God of glory so I started to to, bo uh, to read the Holy Bible and and I, tra I, tra I was attracted so much with this Malachi chapter 3 uh, verse 10 but I am not I am not uh, go direct to verse 10 but I will start reading here uh, Malachi 3 verse 8 up to up to uh, 12 because this is the only secret I tell you my brethren the secret of all the secrets Hallelujah. In Malacca, in book of Malachi, it is said here, do not rob God. Could we rob God? That is the question. I, that I, I, I rob God? Yes. And everybody didn't know. And most of us didn't know about this. But, we should know about this so that we are not going to be cursed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, uh, verse 8 it says here, Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me, says God. But you say, In what way have we robbed you? In tithes and offerings, you see. Oh God, hallelujah. You are cursed. You are cursed with a curse. For you have robbed me, says God, says the Lord. Even the whole nation rob me, says the Lord. That is the word of the Lord of God. And he said, bring, there is an instruction here, bring all the tithes into the storehouse. 
that there may be food in my house. What is a house? The church. The building church where the pastor are living there. And prove me now in this, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open for the windows of heaven, you see, and pour out for you such blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it. Do you see? And I will rebook the deborah for your sakes so that he will not destroy the deborah so that he will not destroy the fruit of your ground nor shall the vine fall fail to bear fruit for you in the field says the lord of hosts and all the nations will call you blessed for you will be delightful then, says the Lord of hosts. Okay. Now, my brethren, since this time, most of all, most of us uh, is not working anymore in the field, especially those who are living in here in Manila, because we are here in Manila. Or if you have felt, you still follow this one. We are working in the office. Or any office you give your tithes and offering to God because the tithes belongs to God that is not ours and so that our pastors have something to eat the love offering also and that pastors also are commanded to open your wallet not to hold your tights alone in your wallet and keep it and, and, and spend it for yourself. You are going to give it to the tights also. You are going to become a member of that group of pastors so that your, your income will be spreaded. You are not going to hold. You are, that means that you are going to make a hole. Butas. Sapira. Para lulusot siya. Hindi maging stagnant sa wallet natin. That is not going to be uh, live stagnant. Remain stagnant in our bag, in our wallet. And we are going to uh, become a member of that. So that our tights, we have our tights. Everybody has tights. We are not going to say, ah, I'm the pastor, I'm going to eat all this. No. If you are going to do that, you will be cursed because it is said here. It is said here that man rob God. So do not rob the 10% of the tithes. You are going to give that to the church, to the organization, because there is an organization of pastors. Not that you are going, ah, I am planting church. No, that is different. That is different. Planting, uh, for example, you have this uh, 1,000. So that is 100. So you are going to give that 100 to the church, to the group, or an organization, or club. And the 900, is go you are going to spend that for the church, for your food, for your something, for your clothing, and everything. Do not touch the 10%. And aside from that, you are going to have to give love offering. This is the one that the pastor is going to teach to the members. So that, so that the church of God uh, continues. It it would the it the the mostly of the pastors now are suffering of this uh, financial financial, but praise the Lord in the province or in here in Manila. I then see that our pastors of the church that we are churching, they are uh, what's this? They say that they are, we have no fina finance anymore and those, no, they prosper because they are very faithful because they follow this, they follow this Malachi 3, 10. And this is what I 
uh, following also since I was 18 years old since Jesus found our family found us we follow all the commands especially this uh, do not rob God because if you are not going to do if you are not going to give tithes return that to God to him you will be cursed <laughs> do you want to be cursed and many of that didn't notice that they are cursed already because they are think that God I am praying for you I heal the sick I pray over I have I baptize the people there. I have so many. Uh, I save all. Uh, I have these people who saves because I I done this preaching the word there. No. That is not enough. Even though how much you are going to do that, if you are robbing God, you are still cursed. But you are going to do that with love. Because if you do not have love with God, you are not going to be be in that group. You are not allowed to yourself to be baptized in water and attend those Bible studies and all activities with what the Pentecostal Church did. If you do not have love, you have you are. Uh, you have love God. You have that love from God. But you do not follow what did God commanded you to do. Number one. This is number one that I did when I became a Christian. A young lady became a Christian. A teenager. I follow this one. This is the secret. I know this. It was tested with our coconut plantation in the province. I repeated already this uh, testimony because I have this in YouTube already but again I repeat because I saw that there are sufferings pastors are suffering of financial that's supposed to be not because you we are working in the vineyard of God and why are we going to suffer just because of this just because of this because you keep the tithe that you receive from the member, the love offering from the member, you keep it in your wallet, in your pocket, in your bag, and buying all those for your family, that it's not the way. You are going to train your family to teach about this tithing. You have to control them and also teach your member in the church about this tithing about the secret so that they are going to be blessed and all the church members will be blessed and together you will be blessed oh hallelujah oh glory that is one of the secret and i was wondering why the air pastors are suffering for this financial that is not supposed to be because i i as i was thinking seems that very shameful shame in our parts we are preaching that god is well rich and you <laughs> and we his children we working in his vineyards suffering this financial problem i am very ashamed of that it is a shameful i am not going to put our god to shame i am always following reading what is what are the commands of God so that hindi mapahiya ang Panginoon through us sa atin na palagi kitang nagde-declare na God is you are wealthy owner of the universe and then what happened to you declaring that you are son daughters of God and ganyan ka na mulobe Hallelujah. Because you don't know the secret. You don't know the secret. Maybe you are thinking that uh, si God manggod uh, maintindihan. He is going to understand me. No. No. 
because he said it i'm going to curse and even the whole nation this is the lord and hope my dear and uh, my brethren your brethren that you are going to read follow the command of god this is his words not my words just only sharing because god revealed me this morning about this oh glory to god and i'm going to pray for a closing prayer oh god oh glory to you lord god oh god help us lord to become faithful of you especially this tithing lord this love offering because this money belongs to you this 10 percent belongs to you and the secret of this giving this tithes and love offering lord is we are going to protect us from all diseases and all sickness hallelujah of glory and praying for those who, do, who didn't uh, notice about this that they need this to know so that they are not going to rob you oh glory hallelujah and thanks you so much praying for you all my brothers and sisters for becoming faithful to god that is my prayer for you my dear brethren we are because we are the tribes of jesus hallelujah hallelujah we are his tribe hallelujah so we ought to follow his commands his teaching the teaching of jesus hallelujah maybe you are going to that ah that is an old old testament malachi no jesus existed before yet the universe made was created with the father jehovah with the father yahweh jesus jesua was existed before yet the universe was created hallelujah and maybe everybody most of uh, do, uh didn't know about that the existence of jesus christ before yet but thank you so much for uh watching this video uh seeing you again my dear friend bye bye love you all